In this updated tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to introduce you to how to get started with the slideshow creator in PowerDirector 365, PowerDirector version 20. There have been changes from earlier versions, and we're going to highlight a few of those. The first step is to click on the Plugins button at the very upper left corner at the top, and then choose the Slideshow Creator from the drop-down menu. When you do that, you're going to see this screen. Now, the first step is to import your photographs. So we can click on the icon here, and you can import image files from your computer. This just takes you to your file system. Navigate where you want, click on one or more of the photos you want to use, and then click on open and it pulls them in. Now you can repeat this process as often as you want to pull in different photographs from different places. The other option you have is you can put them all in one folder and choose the second option which will import all of them into the project at the same time. That's a real time saver. The other is to import from the media room if they're already there. I'm going to click on this and here in my media room I have three subfolders that you can create in PowerDirector version 20 and each of them has already the images I've collected for that particular slideshow. So I'll click on this folder, click on OK, and it pulled them all in at once. Now you can remove a photograph by simply clicking on it, pressing the delete key on the keyboard, and do that as often as you like. So I have the photos. Let's assume this is good. Let's click on the next button for step number two. When I click on that, I can pick the template I want to use. Now you notice that some of the bottom templates say Theme Designer below in the description. These are more complicated. We won't deal with them in this introductory lesson. But we do have the simple ones at the top. One thing to remember is each of the themes processes the photos at a different speed. You can take 100 photos and put them in one template and produce a project that will only take less than three minutes. You can take those same images, put them in a different template, and it might take up to 13, 14 minutes because each of them processes the images differently at a different speed. I'm going to take a pretty quick one here called Cell and click on that. Now that's my template. It's highlighted. I want to add background music. So I'm going to click on the music icon in the lower right corner. This takes me to a place where I can pick the music. I can download from the cloud if I want, or I can use the common folder arrow here and I've navigated to my audio bin and I'm going to take this tune here, click on it, and now it's there. Now I can pick more than one song if I want to, to be part of my slideshow. I'll click on the down arrow again and I'd like to take this one here and now I have two. So if I want to reorder them, all I need to do is highlight the one I want to order. I can click the up or down arrow and they're in a different order now. If I want to remove one, I click on it and highlight it and click on the garbage can. It will remove it. The other option that I have when I'm using this program, I'm going to turn the volume down here, is I can play this. So I'm going to click on the play arrow. And you notice a deep bass sound. I'm going to stop it there. Now if I want to, I can click on the mark in there and it will start it at that point. But I highly recommend if you're going to modify the audio, you modify it before you bring it into this program because there's a lot more sophisticated editing you can do. You can add a fade in or fade out. And again, it depends on if the original has a fade in or fade out. I'm going to turn these off for now. Then you just click on OK when you're done with the music import. So I have the photos I want. I have the music I want. I need to click on Slideshow Preferences. Now in Slideshow Preferences, what I can do is I can fit the photos to the music. That means when the music's done, whatever photos I don't use are going to be thrown away. That's not the default. If I have more photos than I have music, some photos won't be used. If I have less, the photos will recycle. The default is to fit the music to the photos. That makes sure all my photos are used. And in this case, what, what it will do is it will keep repeating the music until the photos are all processed. You also can choose the timeline order or the date stamp inside the image to be the order in which it's used. Most people use timeline. And there's a de detect faces option as well. Let's start out with the default, which is fit the music to the photos. So we'll use all the photos that we've already imported. I'll click on OK, and then I click on Next. It will go ahead and process the images, saying we're going to use everything that we have. And if we just play this a little bit,
Okay, that's an example of what it looks like. Let's click on Next. Now when it comes to Next, it will give you the number of imported photos. Now because I made sure I used all of them, they're all used, there's no unused. You can produce it, you can create a disk, or you could do advanced editing. I almost always choose advanced editing because that gives me the ability to do more work afterwards. It just puts it on my timeline. So I'll click there. And so I have my photos and I have my music. And here it's transitioning from one to another. Now let's use the other option. What I want to do now is repeat this. We'll go back to the same plugin and we'll go to our slideshow creator and we'll import the same photos from the media room. You notice when it imports them, it sticks them in the main part of the media room. So we'll import them again from the folder and I'll click on next. We'll use the same option here and we'll use the same music. I click on open here and we're going to make one change here. I'll click on OK. Now I'll change the preferences. Let's go to fit photos to music. Now I'm going to click on OK. That's the only difference. Now we're doing it the other way. And it's processing my slideshow for the second time. And now I'm going to click on next. We'll do advanced editing. We know the duration is 24 seconds, 24 frames. The duration is 2 minutes, 31 seconds, and 11 frames. So the one we've just done now will recycle. I'll play this here. So you get to see a little bit about the difference between the two approaches. One is much longer than the other because we're tying it to the music. If the music were shorter, it would obviously be the opposite. But those are your two primary options. Do I want to make sure all my slides are seen? And that will be true if, if the processing happens to be longer than the music piece. If the music piece is really long, no matter what, you won't lose any slides in either case. But those are the two options that you have that you have to consider when you get started using this. In the next tutorial, we're going to show you a little bit about how to customize these templates so you can modify the, the look and appearance. And that's a huge step because it will allow you to make much better slideshows as a result.